Hello and welcome to the Safi Learning Center. This short tutorial will show you how to run a natural frequency and a seismic analysis. More complex bridges like this one will require an analysis of seismic loads requiring a more complex approach than simply the application of an equivalent static load. Safi includes all options to calculate the natural frequency or to perform a seismic analysis. It is first necessary to specify the set of permanent loads for seismic weight to be used for frequency or seismic analysis. Then we can perform a natural frequency analysis or seismic analysis by specifying the required loads. I will have a look at a seismic load that was specified in this example. Here we decided to apply a spectral seismic load. This load is based on an existing response spectrum or a response spectrum which can be added to the software. In this case, the spectrum was specified as in the NBCC-95. However, if another spectrum is required, it is always possible to create a new one. Here, we have the peak ground acceleration of 1.09 meters per squared second. Here, the horizontal component of the earthquake has been specified. It is also possible to specify a vertical component as necessary. We will now perform the analysis. Running the seismic analysis also automatically performs a natural frequency analysis. When running a seismic analysis, it is important to choose a number of modes in the analysis. For example, we can see the frequencies and participating masses results table. We can see that each specific mode is associated to a different participating mass. In this case, the mode shapes 1, 3, and 5 seem important participants since their participating mass is high. We can combine these results in the cumulative columns that represent the cumulative participating masses of all the above mode shapes. In general, the different codes will need to reach a minimum of participating mass. This value is often 90%. So, you must choose at least the number of modes to reach this value. You can view some of the specific mode shapes identified here. That is to say, 1, 3, and 5. A first mode contains horizontal and vertical movements with its associated natural frequency. The mode shape, number 3 and the mode shape 5, which seems more horizontal. There are also the results of the seismic spectral analysis. You can seek more information in the dynamic section on the participation of each of the specific mode shapes to the seismic response. These results are also available in tables. If we only need the probable seismic forces, we can have a look at the results from the analysis section of the results bar. Currently, we visualize the deformation caused by the spectral seismic load alone. Similarly, we could view the axial forces or bending moments on the members caused by the seismic loading. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit our website at www.safi.com.